Okay, finding unknown angles. Now these are kind of tricky because on certain test problems they will not give you any visuals. So you don't have any lines or triangles. You got to do it all in your head by reading. And for some of us who have a problem reading, this can be pretty tough. Okay. So let's look at a words only problem up here on number one. The complement to angle A is 49. How many degrees is angle A? Now you see, there's noth nothing like this. There is no 90 degrees. We have to know that complementary angles are 90. So let's say A is 49. What's B? Well, we just go 90 minus 49, and we get 41. Okay? That is very, very hard. Now, let's go to two. What are the measurements for each angle in an equilateral triangle? Now, an equilateral triangle, we could draw it. Each one of these are the same. Well, if we have 180 degrees and we divide by three equal ones, well, we just go three into 180. 60 degrees. Now let's see if that works out. What's 60, 60, and 60? 180. Are they all equal? Yeah. Okay. See, we can go ahead and do, do this. Let's go to three. Of three, ooh, three supplementary angles. Now, supplementary, 180 degrees like this. We got to know supplementary is 180. Says two are equal, and the third angle is 94. So watch. 90 is about here, so 94 is just a little bit here, okay? Now, all of that is your 94. Now, it says two are equal. Those two are equal. So it's that remaining right here. They are the same. So they're each half of what is left. So we take 180 minus 94. That leaves us 86. Now what's half of 86? Just go two into 86 and we get 43. So if we have one angle at 94, then 43, then 43. Since those are supplementary, they should add up to 180. Four, three, and three is 10. Nine, four, ooh, adds up to 180. Perfect, okay? All right, let's go down to four. A right triangle has one right angle Okay, and one angle equal to 37. So this 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 looks a little smaller. How many degrees is the third angle? Well, here's 90. There's 37. Add those up. 127. Now this angle is going to be 180 minus 127. Borrow. Okay, so we get 353. That third angle is 53 degrees. Okay, let's go down here. An isosceles triangle has two equal angles and one angle equal to 48. So this angle up here is not very big. So maybe that is 48. Two equal angles. How many degrees are each of these? Well, they will be half of what's left over. So here we take 180 minus 48, borrow. Uh, and we get 3132. Okay. Now, so we take half of 132, and looks like we get 66. So let's see if that works. If we have 48, 66, 66, 14, 6, 22, uh, 66. Six, ooh, adds up. That's perfect. They are equal. It's an isosceles where two are equal and they add up to 180. Ta-da! Okay, the supplement to an angle is 71. How many degrees is the angle? You have to know that supplement are two angles that equal 180. Now, the smaller one is 71. And so this bigger angle is 180 minus 71 is 109. But the key here is to know that supplementary is 180. Because if you did supplementary was 90, uh-uh, that's for a complement. Okay? Last one. Okay. 
the two equal angles in an obtuse isosceles. Now watch this. The top angle is more than 90. Now there's two equal, ooh, they aren't x, they're both 32. What is the angle number of degrees in this one? Now let's add 32 and 32 is 64. So that one, or all the inside angles, is 180 minus 64, borrow, and we get 6 and we get 11. So this one's 116. Now to make sure we're right, we go 116, 32, 32, that equals 10, and 12 and 6 is 18. Ta-da, we did it right. Okay? Thank you.